Hello people, today I have with us the set 13, I think, model kit quick set. Uh, this is Bulbasaur model kit quick line. Uh, this is from the uh, Pokemon series, of course. And as you see here, this is a posed version of Bulbasaur. Very cute little guy. Not articulated, unfortunately. Still, it's a really, really cute kit. Uh, lots of stickers on this one, but went together in maybe 10 minutes. Um, I use tools, but you don't necessarily have to. These ones are pretty well known for having uh, bad seam lines all over them. I don't know why they did them so apparently. You see that crack right there in the middle. It goes all the way around the guy. Uh, they could have hidden them a little bit better, but honestly, it's not terrible. You can fix them with some cement or some putty and some patience. But if you're a kid, this is cool because it starts off on a tree. You bust it out of the sprue uh, or runner, whatever you want to call it. Uh, pop it right out with your hands if you want to. And it's pretty much ready to go within 10 minutes. Uh, they say, what, 15 parts? There you go. It's nothing, you know. Uh, you put the head together with a couple of pieces. You slap on the body together with a couple of pieces. The little shoe comes out. S throw some stickers on. Your ace, you know. He's good to go. Um, you can take him back apart if you wanted to. Uh, but, you know, why are you going to do that? He's just a really cute looking kit, though. And uh, this one was cheaper than the Metagross that I previously reviewed. Uh, before this one, this one I think was $7, it might have been 8 probably again more expensive than he ought to have been, but not a bad price at all. Uh, now, they've been showing a lot of love to the starter Pokemon with this line, so it's a lot of static Pokemon like this, just chilling, you know, one pose and you just put them together and you're good to go. Hopefully they come out with more that have more serious articulation, things like that. But I am okay with them coming out with starters like this. Uh, now, obviously, this one is pretty decently sized. He's pretty big for what he is. Uh, if you, for example, take the Metagross, they're almost the same size, you know. Uh, but that guy, he has no articulation where the Metagross does. And, of course, that Pokemon should be much, much bigger than a Bulbasaur. Still, this guy's really cute, and I really like him. Very fun little model kit to put together and distract yourself from other things. It's also a really great entry gate to um, Plamo in general. So if you ever thought, hey, you know, one of my friends might really like pl uh, plastic models, but, you know, if I hand them a Gundam or something like that, or if I hand them a Tamiya model, if I hand them a tank, you know, they're not going to like that. But I know they like Pokemon. Games are always a bridge, I think to a lot of people that might be into this hobby and not know it yet. These are perfect for that. It's cheap for you and it'll be enjoyable for them. There's also a guilt-free feeling of, you know, if I put this together and I kind of mess it up, it's not that bad because it's really cheap. If you're experimenting with things, if you want to play with plat plate, um, things like that, these are almost perfect for that. Very cheap, uh, very easy to obtain. And of course, if you mess them up, you can always just buy another one. That's one of the really good things about these uh, entry grade type stuff. It's really cool to have that guilt free reaction. Bulbasaur isn't one of my favorite, but of course I do really like Pokemon. Um, if you've seen my shelves, anything like that, you'll know that's something that I enjoy. I have reviewed quite a few of these in the past and uh, I plan on reviewing all of them as they come out. So you will probably see more from me in the very near future. I even have an all-creamy Pokemon that I plan on putting together for before the end of the week. Let me tell you guys that I do highly recommend this. Uh, this isn't something that... Um, this isn't something to scoff at, really. It's definitely a beginner-level kit. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not going to write, you know, any... It's not going to win any awards anything like that there's no uh superb uh, creation like the poke uh, kirby one where it had the belly mode and all that other stuff these <laughs> they're really basic just cute little things so the benefit in getting one of these is 
like I said, getting someone else into it or just cleaning your palette, you know, getting the taste of a long model kit build that might have been a little bit stressful or, you know, it's just I built 15 Gundams in a row. I need something else. This will do it. This will clean your palette. You'll be like, OK, I am ready to go into something else. And I, that's nothing wrong with building just nothing but Gunpla. And I understand if you don't want to ever get into any other line, but build this and give it to your friend's kid. Build it and give it to your neighbor. You know, it's you don't even have to give it to them to build. It's just it's a cute little thing, you know. I don't know. It, I, I, I might be reading too much into it, but that's what I do with these things. You know, I build them and I give them away or I, I give them away before I build them. You know, and then I have to buy another one. <laughs> but it's it's just a thing, you know, it's it's what I do. Any case, though, Bulbasaur here is a really cute model kit. I'm going to show you just a quick size comparison with only the Gundam because um, it's not really necessary to show how big it is compared to other stuff. But uh, it is pretty decent for your size on a shelf. You know, it's going to be pretty big size and uh, it's it's cute. You know, it's just one of those things. If you have just a shelf devoted to the Pokemon, you can't go wrong. You know, it's something cool that that's going to be there. And with that said, I think uh, also it's just kind of cool to know that Bandai is doing other things besides just the same old, same old. And, and I know they've gotten a lot of different lines now, so I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, that all they ever do is Gunpla. Uh, because I know they have 30 Minute Sisters, they have 30 Minute Missions, they have Kyokai Senki, they have all the other kits that they've been coming out with. Um, all the entry grade stuff, the um, Demon Slayer stuff, the um, Star Wars stuff that they come out with, the, uh, the dinosaur line that they came out with now. So many different things. So I'm not disparaging them for only making one different, you know, one thing. But it's nice to have some options. That's all I'm saying. So with all that said, and I did just end up ranting, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my little review of a little dorky Pokemon that was from the original gens. Really cute guy. One of the better starters, honestly. It's pretty good. I, I never used him, but he's a cutie, so you can't go wrong with a Bulbasaur. Any case, though, I'm going to go ahead and close out. You guys, I will see you guys next time or you'll see me. But more than likely, you'll see my stuff. Bye-bye.